Welcome to the 2012 Lotus Festival here at a super sunny Brands Hatch. The Marangoni Tires Production BMW Championships in association with QuickFit was originally created by Lotus Track Day enthusiasts and is now one of the most successful, most closely fought championships in the country. Weather is glorious, 40 cars, bumper to bumper grid, looks set to be a fantastic show. The production BMW Championship is renowned for its friendly atmosphere, so where better to go to get a true feel for it than the Championship's very own hospitality area, hosted by the Oliver Jones family. My mum does all the food for the series, so we provide uh, breakfast in the morning, um, which is usually bacon, um, bacon sandwiches, um, and they, everybody comes over whenever they wake up. Um, and then mum will usually announce that there's a time at, you know, usually one o'clock when lunch is for the rest of the, the racing as well. And then in the evening as well, she'll provide a food um, about seven, eight o'clock ish. Um, as well for everybody. But at lunchtime, everybody turns up, you get the children, the mums, the dads, the wives, children, you know, everything. We've seen him in every show via his onboard camera, and now finally we get to meet him face to face. It's Harry Goodman. Now, you've been named Production BMW's Will I Am. How do you feel about this? Embarrassed. I'm not sure that I could ever wear the, that sort of jacket and those driving gloves without smirking. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, look at the throne that you're currently sitting in. <laughs> yes, it doesn't fit very well, does it? I'm having difficulty getting myself into it. <laughs> Are you aware that they're actually considering renaming the championship the Harry Goodman Show? Yeah, I think they should. I think it would be a fitting... I, I think it's the sort of thing that all old men ought to have as a show after them. Love it. Now, on a slightly more serious note, tell us about qualifying. It was a bit of a mess, wasn't it? I'd made all that effort to get to the front of the grid to be out first, and then I threw it all the way on the first lap. It was pathetic. Well, hopefully you'll do better in the race, but uh, how is the championship going for you generally? Actually, it's going a lot better than I expected. I've got a lot of people to thank, a lot of people who put a lot of effort in both building the car and running the car, in the case of Rob and plenty of other people, including Ben, who's been helping me a lot. It's been, uh, it's very satisfying for an old man to do this. It's, uh, I, I cannot tell you how good it's been. It's, uh, yeah, the season's going better than I expected and it's, uh, it's just a lot of fun. Well, is today going to be a good day then for Harry Goodman as he takes his position on the grid? What about the front row? Ben Winrow and Mike Tovey, the two championship rivals. Then Liam Crilly with a new set of tyres this weekend, his second of the season. And Miles Howard on row two with Harry Goodman and Stuart Waite, row three. Away they go. It's a brilliant start from Tovey in the orange car as he jumps out of the white machine of Ben Winrow. Also, by the way, the red car of Liam Crilly as Tovey squeezes Winrow. Oh, they make contact and around goes Mike Tovey as they head towards Paddock Hill Bend. He's going to kiss the Armco, but more importantly, be at the back of the pack as Winrow holds his ground through Paddock. He's got the inside line climbing up the hill towards Druids, and Liam Crilly tries his might. Couldn't quite find a way through as with three wide in the midfield. It's not really news in the production BMW Championship as down towards Graham Hill Bend. We've got Stuart Waite, then the newcomer car, 1 3 2, the Union Jack Roof. That is the XMX5 racer, Charles Plumley, and then Harry Goodman as the rest of them stream through. There is Mike Tovey recovering at the very back of the field as the rest of the pack stream in search for the first time the silver car of Ian Russell at the head of that queue. Number 18, down Pilgrims drop then and it's Ben Winrow, the former Clio Cup, former Bath Trofeo champion, who leads the way from Liam Crilly. That's Miles Howard who's come up to third, Stuart Waite in fourth. There's Alan Wildman looking to gain a little bit of ground. Simon Glenn, the silver car, he's got the blue machine of Jack Gabriel right up on his tail. Also, on the championship front runners, Matthew Parks, but Parks a long way down the order, so he's got grounds away. Up as they almost go three wide, climbing up the hill towards Sheen Curve, and it's a place gain for Stuart Waite. Up the inside, Miles Howard, who slithers a little bit wide. That could allow Charles Plumley through as well, as they do go three wide into Surtees. Harry Goodman tries to squeeze around the outside as well. Nothing doing there as the rest of the pack all stream through. Such a lively start to this race. Very entertaining. So they're all safely through all sounded tyres. Somebody's gone around. It's Lauren Can. 
So she is going to rejoin, unfortunately, at the back of the pack in the 199 car. Not in her first season of motor racing and still learning her way as we go in car with Harry Goodman as he pulls out of the slipstream behind Charles Plum, the accelerating along the ground and straight for the first time of asking. He's got the outside line, Panic Hill Bend. If he makes that move stick, that will be amazing. And he does, he breaks very, very late and swoops around the outside. That's an absolutely brilliant move from Harry Goodman. Very bold to challenge at Paddock Hill Bend, particularly in such evenly matched cars. He then has to jink to the inside line, cover off the attack from Charles Plumley as they climb the hill towards Druid. Alan Wildman, there he is in the yellow and green car, drawing alongside the orange between the miles. Howard, Howard though in the 43 car, is able just to prevail through Graham Hill Bend. Wildman twists the rear of the car out as we take a replay of the start. And Toby really squeezed Ben Winrow into the arm coat. I don't quite know how much more Ben Winrow could have done about that. In car from Mike Tovey. Well, it didn't feel particularly good. And I suspect that a conversation with championship coordinator John Wilcox may follow afterwards. So Ben Winrow leads it. Second place, Liam Crilly. Third place is Stuart Waite. He goes through shot. Then in fourth, it's Harry Goodman. Fifth then chases him down. Charles Plumley, the very patriotic roof in this Olympics. I run Plumley looks the inside into Westfield Bend. He can't find the way past Goodman, who slides the car. How he held on to that, I don't know. Well, they call him the Willow Am of the Paddock. I think it's more the Harry Potter, because that was magic to keep that point in the right direction. So we go three wide into Sheen, and again, Goodman is completely sideways, but he holds on to his position. And then following him through is Miles Howard, who gained ground. It's Charles Plumley, who is getting a baptism of fire. This is just how competitive this championship is. As climbing up into the top 20 now is Mike Tovey. He moves ahead of Aaron Morgan as the pack chase their way through Miles Howard and Charles Plumley still in very very close contention Howard though leads into Paddock Hill Bend in this particular battle of course it's still Ben Winner and Liam Crilly who are a long way clear at the head of the pack and Plumley gets a good run out of Paddock and he's challenging Howard up the inside line into Drew's Miles Howard moves across very late and he's just able to cover the racing line they then both slither wide that is going to give Alan Warman, who's the next car in the train, the opportunity to join this battle. It also may just enable Harry Goodman to make good his escape here. Here is Mike Tovey, who continues his meteoric progress up through the field. He's now on the fringe of the top ten as Tom Ibrahim in the red car goes around the outside of Jack Gabriel that drew it. They plunge towards Graham Hill Bend. Ibrahim stalwart supporter of the championship. And this slightly muted performance from Jack Gabriel. He's been right up at the sharp end of the field for most of this season but as it is he's running towards the bottom end of the top 10 here is the fight for fourth with Harry Goodman from Miles Howard and Charles Plumley brilliant shot there into the cockpit of Miles Howard and he looks so relaxed behind the wheel just a single turn of the wheel next group of cars coming down the hill to enjoy their battle and it is Jack Gabriel and he has got Ian Russell right on his tail in the silver sheet there we've got Tom Ibrahim and Leonard Oliver in car number 30 that's the red and gold car it will hit the brakes into Westfield Bend and the road falls away so steeply as they drop into Dingle Dell, then climb up to Sheen Cove. You can't see Sheen until you turn in. It really takes a huge amount of commitment from these drivers, which they all have in abundance. The head of this queue is Kevin Welsh in the Raw Motorsport car. Kevin, who has been a front runner in this championship in years gone by, not having perhaps his greatest season, but he's competitive to date. Liam Crilly pushes his new rubber to its limit as the battle for fourth continues. They climb up the hill towards Druids around the right-hand hairpin and it's Goodman who still keeps his nose ahead of this. has been an absolutely super drive from Harry Goodman and on form like this you have to say that that podium and that race victory may not be too far away for Harry. Jack Gabriel meanwhile tries his Luck around the outside of Welsh through Druids. No way through there. Willie chances arm then into Graham Hill Bend. Now I think he's going to have to just work a little bit harder to keep Ian Russell behind him. But this is a very strong showing from Ian as he moves to in almost a sheet of papers with the accelerate towards Surtees. The fight for fourth down the hill towards Hawthorne. And Charles Plumley is trying around the outside. But Miles Howard's got the track position. He's got the inside line. And Plumley just couldn't quite carry the pace. He then switches the inside line on towards Westfield. Though he's not near enough. And what is just so impressive about this race is how clean it is. We've not seen any contact. These drivers go wheel to wheel at very high speed, but we're seeing them giving each other respect and racing room. And there's certainly 
some big name touring car championships that could learn a thing or two from the Marangoni Tars production BMW championship when it comes to close, clean and competitive racing. Sideways is Matt Swaffer, anything Swaffer could do, Alan Wildman could do even better as he plunges into the gravel trap at Sheen. Will he rejoin? Yes, he will. That's not a section circle you want to go sideways as there was Mike Toby. He's into the final lap. So who is going to get fourth? It could be any of these three or none of them, such as the way that this battle has gone. But it's Harry Goodman who is still just there in fourth. Miles Howard in fifth, then Charles Plumley completes the top six as things currently stand. Accelerating out of Graham Hill Bend. Meanwhile, Kevin Welsh has still got Jack Gabriel bobbing and weaving every which way around the outside he looks and this time he's much closer but he can't draw alongside on the extra Druids but they both head out over the rubble strips into Graham Hill Bend and Kevin Welsh pushing very hard sliding the car on those Marangoni tyres as they accelerate out of Graham Hill Bend meanwhile into Hawthorne's Plumley around the outside of Miles Howard oh that's brilliant from Charles Plumley as we ride in car with Mike Tovey he is up onto the tail of Matt Parks trying to gain ground. Will he be able to do it? He fights the wheel a little bit as Ben Winrow comes across the line and takes the checkered flag. So it's a victory for Winrow. It's an adventure for Ian Russell. Oh, that was almost an enormous action. He somehow kept it out of the arm coat as what well about this midfield battle? It's Kevin Welsh who's going to come through in 12th, but for 13th, it's a drag race to the line. And Stephen Carter just gets his nose ahead of Tom Ibrahim to snatch the position. So at the end of an absolutely fantastic race, it's victory for Ben Winrow, second place to Liam Crilly. Stuart Waite completes the podium, Harry Goodman did hold on for fourth, and Matt Swaffer snatches sixth after a last lap drama for Charles Plumley. Well, delighted Ben Winrow, all smiles on the top step of the rostrum, and that's only half their work done for today. Join us after the break for race two from Brands. Uh -huh.